<laughs> but, um, you know, but let me just tell you real quickly, you know, fast forwarding, because I can put people to sleep. <laughs> the blessing is that I wound up uh, going to a showcase and a woman named Maria Davis, she was having a showcase. I, Maria, I was Maria. going to every little showcase for artists just starting. And some dude named Jay-Z comes in and does a little performance. Fast forward, I wound up going to a few parties and I wound up meeting Puffy. Stop there, are you going now shooting? Yeah, and I wound up getting hired to be Jay-Z's per personal photographer, Puffy's personal photographer, Damon Dash's personal photographer, Naomi Campbell's personal photographer, stop, stop, Michael Jordan's you, you, personal photographer. You, you, you didn't, you didn't origin, you didn't go to Maria Davis's, um, just like, in the her, her, her event and, and become Naomi Campbell's um, personal photographer. So I, I want to walk people yep. through yep. the steps. The network Because it's, it's, an, it's important because people see the finished product. Mm -hmm. They see, you know, Ronnie Wright, who, who, who's legendary. Mm -hmm. They see Johnny mm -hmm. Nunez, mm -hmm. legendary. Mm -hmm. You're sitting on the stage. Mm -hmm. But it's the journey. Mm -hmm. It is the mm -hmm. roadmap that you guys took to, yeah. to, to, to make your way mm -hmm. to where your name is associated with being legendary. So mm -hmm. you're going to, to the Maria Davis events. Mm -hmm. I remember it very well mm -hmm. at Sweetwaters. Yeah. And um, you bump into Jay-Z, Dame Jazz, Dash. This is Kata. before, mm -hmm. you know, Rockefeller Records yeah. becomes what it becomes yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. How do you become the personal photographer for Rockefeller Records and Dame Dash? Um, I was shooting every single day. And remember that restaurant I told you about called Mecca? Yep. There was a girl looking really distressed and I walked over to her and I said, I'm sorry, miss, but um, you look too pretty to be looking sad, you know? And then she smiled and she said, what do you, what do, you do here? I said, these are my photographs. I'm a photographer. I was only like a photographer for like four months, maybe three months, you know? And she's like, wow, I really appreciate that. So after she was done, I said, when you're done with your food, you need a ride, where do you live? She's like, I live in Brooklyn. I'm gonna give you a ride home. She was like, you're, you're an angel. And so I gave that girl a ride and her name happened to be Karen Good, And I'm like, so she's like, I'm the editor in chief of photography for a magazine called Vibe Magazine. I want you to come to my office next week. I'm gonna introduce you to George and Mimi. Now I have Vibe Magazine on lock, straight up. That's and great. I that, met Source so Magazine, I had it on lock. And now I was getting paid $85 per photo, per issue, and they were buying like 24 pictures in one magazine. The other one was buying 30 pictures. So now you take 24 and 30, that's 54, 54 times 85. I was out of the car now. Are you still shooting on film at this time? This is before digital. Yeah, still film, still film. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.